Hey Dave Lacalio with Head Games Motor Works. Today it's all about BMW S58s. We are going to be on Merrick from M Performance's cylinder head and a special bonus you're going to get to see our new CNC port. Check it out. If you look at these can journals, these things have been hit pretty hard. Um, so this looks like either oil contamination, lack of oil, something's going on here. Um, this head's also been bee blasted, so somebody rebuilt it before. And you'll see here, uh, all the cam journals have this uh, not shine to them because it's been bee blasted. And we don't know, maybe there was some junk left in the head and um, this is what we're seeing now, but all the journals have been kind of hit. Uh, but if we go back to this one, this is the worst one. This one, we measured it out, and on the outside edges here, these side edges here, we are seven thousandths bigger than the ID. The ID, we have about three thousandths of clearance, which is about the max you want to see. These have seven. You see here, more of the same when I was talking about how they bead blasted it. It looks like crap. I don't know why anybody would not just shine these things back up. Yeah, I would say some of it is just for aesthetics, but when you care about your stuff, this is what you do. You shine these things back up. It has stock springs in it. I think we've made over a thousand, right around a thousand with it. Um, they tip the valve. You can see here, there's, I don't know if you can see it, but there is um, some cut marks from where they cut it. And let's look at the other side. One thing I noticed right away was that not all the valves looked that they were at the same height. And um, so I did zero this off the camera. This is a bridge mic. And um, I'm just looking to see what the average is on the end of the valve. So we're at like six there. We're at 10. Look at that, almost 18. Look at this guy. He's, uh, you're on eight. So all over the place, these things. So this is um, showing you the other guy, whoever rebuilt this thing, sunk some valves, didn't sink others, or there's something else going on. And this is what the valve seat looks like. This is not from the guy who machined it. This is just port part selection or just putting parts in it. See, you have a valve seat that's a 45 here. Besides it's round, like it's not even, it's actually not even an angle anymore. But then it goes thin to really, really thick. See how it's, it's not even round. And that is from the valve float. It's just going to beat the crap out of it. And if the guy is just somebody who's going to lap that valve in, you're not fixing this without machining it. So what happens here is you get valve flow and the valve flow is just going to beat the valve into the valve seat and it's going to create wear and it creates wear where you're not going to have, all of them are not going to be the same. And once you start beating the valve into the valve seat, it is going to change geometry. So then you might have issues where it's holding the valve open even. It, it can get pretty hairy and if you're a guy who is just a, a parts installer and you're not a measurer you're going to see a situation here where say if they just put valve springs in it which a lot of these shops are doing they're just putting springs or just putting valves in stock heads and not thinking that oh man i'm just rebuilding this thing and you're just lapping a valve in you're not really fixing it you are just exchanging parts but not fixing a problem and I say those things because I think sometimes when I'm preaching something, people think I'm just trying to sell soldier heads and I'm showing you an actual problem that can be fixed by taking it to a machine shop. Does it have to be head games? No. Do I think it should be head games? Well, surely, but that's not the point. You really need to take it to a machine shop, take it to somebody who knows something, can fix the problem, and then get you on the road again.
enjoy my pointers. This is an injector. Anyway, pull it apart and see more of the same where the valve job is no longer square. It's no longer a 45 degree angle. It is round. And uh, some of them are definitely not sealing. You have things that are thick, like this is thin in one area, real thick here. And like this was all beat in here. See how it's all beat in? There's no angle there anymore. Uh, this obviously was not sealing. If it was sealing, then it wouldn't do this. And more of the same here. This is really thick here, thin. The whole head looks like this. Do I think it's machine work? No, I think it just got beat in like this. And now you're seeing the repercussions of using stock valve train and making a bunch of power. And the only way you're going to be able to fix this is by machining it. Look at that right there. It's like not even... I go like that. You don't even hear an angle. And this exhaust actually wasn't sealing either. So this was probably another one that was about to go. It would burn up because it's not sealing. Look at this guy. The valve is beat. So the whole... The whole 45 is beat into the valve. There's a ledge there. The other thing I noticed is there's no more margin. The margin is razor sharp at this point because the valve has just beat itself in. And uh, it was kind of concaving. That's why we saw up to what, 10 thousandths or more of difference in height. And that's the height. So you can see that the, the valve, the 45 degree angle would beat into the valve. Now the valve is going to be taller into the cylinder head and then you have rocker on geometry issues. So I also had issues, you can see because I did it on the time lapse, but when you go to put a valve in, uh, some of these were pulling on the lock and so now you can't really get them in and out. And what I mean by that is from the valve flow, it'll pull on the triple groove here because it's slamming up and down and it leaves like a little groove here um, and then it is no longer the size. So it won't pull in and out very easily and you're gonna coerce it to come out. First thing I noticed was the same Neanderthal that worked on the last S58 head we uh, showed you guys with the different seats. So you can see under here that they, I guess pried the valve seat out of it and put some junk in there. I don't know exactly what's going on here. Uh, on this one, you can see that there was some material missing from the back side of it. And uh, that goes for this one as well. Some material missing from the back side. It looks like they took a screwdriver and hammered the valve seat out. And um, there's a, just a bunch of Neanderthals here. And so now the valve job's different on all of them. And uh, well, I should say it looks a little different and I can't really do anything about that. There was so much wrong with that cylinder head that we just scrapped that idea. We're not gonna put that on his car. And we came up with another head. Well, I'm not gonna show you all of the disassembly and everything, but how about you check out our brand new BMW S58 CNC port. I'm really happy with the way the CNC port came out. Now the combustion chamber, we do have to drop it probably another 10 thousandths, but I'm very happy with the first ones that came out. I would just have to do some light blending and they'll all come in. I think the intake ports came out freaking amazing. I cannot be happier. So we got some GSC bronze guides installed. This head really has to get out of here very, very soon. So we're trying to make it fast, but man, look at that. It's like jewelry. I'm also really excited about this exhaust port. Now these exhaust ports are, they have three different exhaust ports. So each one had to be digitized, we had to port it, flow them, came out killer. I couldn't be more happy. All right, we're ready for a valve job. Now, a valve job is just a valve job if you think of it as such, but at Head Games, we did a lot of research and development to make sure that the valve job for the S58 and the B58 actually pick up airflow. So we're not just gonna wing it and put numbers on it and, or put a valve job on it or just lap the valve in because there's an actual gain just in the valve job. There's also gains just in the exhaust valve. So we're using the GSC 
stock size valves and uh, we worked with GSC and they put a really nice tulip on it. This thing is killer. It picks up a good 30 to 40 CFM by itself, including the valve drive. You're talking about gains on top of gains. All right, you guys, you see where the lap line is? And this is for you guys who think you can just lap your way into doing everything. If you lap, you see how high up that 45 is? What it really should be is down on the bottom. You see all, all that shininess on the bottom there? And that's where the gains are because you can basically make it a larger valve by just valve jobbing it and getting the lap line towards the edge of the valve. So now Matt's gonna cut all these, all these uh, valve seats in and uh, we'll be ready for mill. And that's exactly what I'm talking about right there. You see that lap line right at the edge of the 45? That's what makes the power. So we discussed the valves and now after the head's assembled, I just want to talk about the valve spring. The valve spring from GSC is the highest pressure and actually it is the highest rate spring on the market. Uh, now I did a whole spring test, you guys can watch it. The S58 is actually a tighter spring than the V58, they don't set up the same height. GSC is one of those companies that actually noticed this and they made a specific kit for each. Now these things have over 100 pounds on the seat and 220 pounds open with a rate of 243, I think it was. So this thing's good for 70 pounds of boost and 9,000 RPM for all the cushion for the pushing. Now Merrick was actually a part of our cam testing with the GSC cams. So we gave him a set of cams, tried to see how that works out. And I think it worked out really, really well. doing there is we wanted to see what does the cylinder head do versus the camshaft so we checked the camshaft first it made over a hundred horsepower and it made a whole bunch of torque and most importantly it made it the power a lot sooner so now we're going to try the cylinder head what is the cylinder head going to pick up for power you'll have to wait and see for that one be sure to like subscribe comment below i'd love to hear from you toodles